My name is Becky Jennings and I'm the creator of The Balance Method. Welcome to your second trimester intermediate total body workout. I am so excited that you are here. I know that you are working so hard on growing your amazing baby, so I just wanted to do something really special for you. I'm currently 22 weeks. I'm finally starting to see a much bigger bump. I'm growing every single day, as I'm sure you are experiencing as well. So some of these movements are gonna change for us, and that's okay. I wanna make sure that you have cleared yourself with your doctor to work out. You're getting the A-OK -okay sign from either your doctor, your midwife, or other practitioners that you are working with, that you have plenty of water on hand, and that you really judge yourself during the workout on how, uh, how much you're uh, out of breath or fatigued or dizzy. And if you are feeling tired or faint or anything, stop the exercise. This is called your rate of perceived exertion, and we're just gonna make sure that you are not pushing your body too hard, okay? So make sure you're really listening to your body, and if you need to back off, please do so. We have six exercises broken into two rounds, and we are going to repeat that three times. We're first gonna start with a squat series, and then we'll move on to uh, more total body core work. What you'll need is light and medium dumbbells, as well as a stability ball. So let's go ahead and get started with a modified jumping jack. Taking it out to the side, add a little bounce, take those arms about shoulder height. We're just getting some blood flowing, getting the body nice and warmed up. Yep, you might be feeling a little bit of bouncing, a little bit of pulling in here. Just make sure that you are keeping your core Nice and tight throughout this process. Good. We're going to squat, quarter squat, down and up. So it just looks down and up. Push the booty back, up. Knees stay directly over the shoelaces. And you're driving the hips forward as you squat. Exhale at the top. And you're not letting your knees come in. You're still driving those knees out. Let's do two more. Good. Separate the feet a little bit wider. Pinky fingers to pinky toes. Down and up. We're gonna be using our hamstrings a lot in this workout. So you want to dynamically warm those up. As opposed to a static stretch, we're adding mo movement to the stretch so that you can add more blood flow. This should feel really good. You might be really tight and you're feeling this in the back of your calves or maybe even into your lower back. That's okay, just slight bend in the knees. One more each side. Very good. Windmill those arms up and around. Now, right now, there's a bunch of hormones pumping through your body, and one particular hormone is loosening up the ligaments around your pelvis, but they don't, they don't just focus on the pelvic ligaments, they focus on all ligaments. Let's reverse the motion. So, you might be feeling a little bit of wobbliness in your knees, maybe even your shoulders, so make sure we're not swinging any weights. We're being really careful and cautious throughout this entire workout. Let's open up the chest and round the back. Open and round, open. Give me two more like this. Last one. Very good, shake it out. We're gonna use both sets of weights right now. Watch first, I'm gonna grab my light sets of weights, place them right in front, or excuse me, right in the back of the mat and then grab my heavy weights to use as the weight that I'm using. I'm putting my heels on the weights. We're gonna be squatting down, pushing our booty further back. So I'll show you what that looks like from this side. So, you're here. We're gonna be moving the booty back as far as we can, keeping our chest lifted. This is gonna let us do a deeper squat. So look how much further I can drop my booty down while my knees still keep the integrity over the shoelaces. And then we're gonna come up, okay? So that's the positioning. You want the weights to be 
about hip width apart, then we're going to add some arms while we do it. Okay, so grab those weights. Your heel, your heels are on the five pound or three pound weights, whichever you have. Then we are going to do a bicep curl and a shoulder press at the top. So we're taking it down, bicep curl here, shoulder press here, and down. Notice that it's not a bicep curl out to the side, twist it, and press here. We're keeping it all in a line. So it's a hammer curl to like a goal post, okay? 10 repetitions, here we go. Take it down, hammer curl, goal posts, reverse, down. Very good job. Four. Halfway there. Now make sure you're pushing through the heels on the way up and abs stay tight and engaged the entire time. We have one more here. And rest. Great job. Drop those heavies. We're going to grab the lights. We are going to go into a squat with a knee raise. As that knee is raised, we're taking it into a lateral raise. So it will look like down, up, switch sides, up. Okay? We're doing 10 total repetitions, five on each side. Ready? Feet about hip width apart. Note if your hips are really tight, Step a little wider, turn the toes out a little bit more. We all have different pelvic positionings and are shifting as we speak, so adjust to fit, okay? Squat, knee raise with a lateral raise. Down, one. When you draw that knee up, tighten the belly, squeeze right there. Blow out all the air in your belly. Last four, three, two, one. Awesome. We're dropping down into a squat, holding it 10 repetitions of that outward turned bicep curl. Ready? Here we go. Take it down. One, two, chest up. Three, gaze is slightly ahead of you. Five, six, seven, almost there. Eight, booty back. Nine, and 10. Great job. Grab some water. Position those weights at the end of the mat. We're gonna repeat from the top. How you doing? One round is done. Okay. Go ahead and grab those medium or heavy weights. Place the heels on the back of your dumbbells. We're going down into a squat with the bicep curl and shoulder press. Here we go. Down, up. Good, use your hamstrings and booty to push you up. Down. Inhale down, exhale up halfway there. This is really working the booty, biceps, shoulders, core. We have one more. And rest. Drop those medium weights. Grab the lighter weights behind you. Squat, lateral raise with that knee. Here we go. 10 repetitions, five each side. Down, pause. Good job. Three, four, five. Awesome job. Exhale here. Last three, two, and one. Ooh, really felt that in the shoulders. Now we're gonna drop in, hold, externally rotate those arms, bicep curl at the bottom. Here we go. Take it down. 
One, two, look in front of you, three, four, five, six, booty back, seven, all the weight in your heels, nine, and ten. All right, place those weights at the back, grab some water, one more round, you can do this. Okay, grab those medium weights. Heels on the lighter weights. You have one more round of this. Booty is working, shoulders and biceps, but you've got this. You are one strong mama. Okay, let's do this last round. Make it the best round that you've done so far. Here we go. All the weight in your heels. Exhale up, reverse it down. Don't just let it fall down. Guide the weights. Awesome. I feel my booty working for sure. Halfway there. You've got this. Two more. Actually, three more, sorry. Last two. And one. Great. We are almost there. Go ahead and grab those lighter weights. We're doing a squat, knee raise with a lateral raise. 10 repetitions, five each side. Make sure you exhale and really contract that knee up, working on those lower abdominals that will help so much during pregnancy and labor. Here we go. Down, up, exhale. How are you feeling? Can you talk to me? Can you yell at me? <laughs> How are you feeling? Let me know. Talk to that screen. Four more. Four. And three. Slight bend in the elbows. Two. And one. Great job. Last squat hold with the bicep curl. I'm gonna move to the side so you can see how far back my booty goes. My toes are lifted up into my shoe, so all the weight is in my booty and in my quads. Slightly wider than hip width apart, toes turned out, drop into that squat, 10 repetitions. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Halfway there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up. Whew, you are done with that round. Grab some water, pat yourself on the back. You are halfway there, officially halfway there. Okay. Go ahead and grab your stability ball with one medium weight. We are gonna do a single leg deadlift on the ball. When we're at the lowest part of the deadlift, we're gonna add a row, then we'll come all the way back up. So, let me demonstrate so you know what that looks like. I'm planting my left foot down. My right leg is gonna travel back. I'm grabbing onto the ball right here, rowing, coming back up. So it's just a light tap, but it gives you a benchmark on where to stop. If the ball is moving around too much, go ahead and place weights right there. That'll make it a little bit more stable for you so you don't tip over, okay? Here we go. Slight bend in that left leg in the back. This one is going to hopefully stay up the entire time. If you need to tap down, always do so. Here we go. Take it down. One. And up. Two. Three. I'm really feeling this in the back of my leg. Four. Good job. Five. Halfway there. Especially after all those squats. Woo! Seven. Last three. You can do it. Eight. Almost there. Nine. One more. Ten. And 
and switching sides. All right, I'm gonna move this ball just in case I hit uh, the, the bench right there. All right, plant that right foot, slight bend in the knee, left leg is going back, and we're gonna row. So take it down, flex, and up. Even though we have the ball here to catch us at the end, you might still feel super wobbly because of all those hormones in our body loosening up our joints. That's okay. Stare at something in front of you. Give yourself that focal point so that you can get a little bit more balance. Keep the core super engaged. Slight bend in this leg. And you should be really comfortable in that move and rest. Awesome job. Let's move the ball out of the way. Go down to the mat on our hands and knees. We are gonna go into a weighted bird dog. So a bird dog normally, just a position here, right? What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna put a weight behind the knee, flex the foot closer to the butt, so when you raise it, it's not gonna tip out. And then the opposite hand, we're gonna be raising it forward, thumbs facing the ceiling. So it's gonna look like that. 10 repetitions, then we switch sides. If you feel like your back is arching, I need you to tuck your pelvis, pull your belly in. Nice flat back is what we're hoping for. Flex that foot, here we go. Exhale, down. Good job, you are halfway there. That booty is working. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switching sides. Go ahead and put that leg, or that weight right behind the left leg. Flex the foot, weight is in that right hand. 10 repetitions, here we go, one. Flex that foot, two, three, abs are tight, four, five, six, seven, eight, you've got this, nine, and ten. Great job. Move those weights off to the side. We're gonna do a plank sequence where we go from five to 10 second holds, increasing one second at each time. So we're gonna start with a five second plank, then we're gonna go to a six second, seven second, all the way up to 10. We're gonna do a little pause in between just for you to reset your core, but this is gonna be a killer shoulder, core, and booty exercise. So what I want you to do is glue your feet together Act like there's a zipper all the way up your legs where you're really tightening your legs. We're gonna push some weight back into our heels, really disperse the weight. Hands are gonna be directly underneath the shoulders. I want you to push back, squeeze the abs. We're starting with five. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop, breathe for a second. One inhale, one exhale, here we go. Six, five, four, push weight into your heels, two, and one. Drop down, one inhale, seven, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe, one breath, here we go for eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop down, big inhale, nine, here we go, and up, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop down, last one, big inhale, you can do it, 10 seconds, up, here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, abs tight, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Oh, how do you feel? That was awesome. If you need to ever go down to your knees, you always can do that. No problem. Okay, starting from the top, single leg deadlift with that row. Go ahead and grab the stability ball. If you need to make that weight balanced area for you, grab one medium or heavy dumbbell, planting all the weight into that left leg. All the weight is in the heel, toes are lifted up in the shoe, slight bend in the knees, hinging forward at the waist. Here we go. Tap it here. Row and up. Exhale. Awesome. Four. This is so great for all those back muscles that will be carrying so much weight. Almost there. We have four. And three. Almost there. Two. Last one. And up. Okay, let's switch it over to the right foot. Position yourself, slight bend in the knees, all the weights in the heel, toes are lifted up, coming down, hinging forward, flat back. Here we go. Down, row. And up. Good job. If you need to tap that foot down in the back, you can just take it here. Hinging over here. Okay? This is six. Abs are still engaged. Keeping them very tight. Two more. Feel that booty work. Last one. And up. Awesome. Let's move that stability ball out of the way. Grab those lighter weights to the weighted bird dog. So let's start with the weight behind the right leg. And then in the left hand, flex that foot so that the booty is, or the heel is nice and tight to the booty. And we lift. One. Two, exhale. Abs are super tight, halfway there. We have five, four, flat back, three, two, and one. Great job. Switch the weight behind the other knee, switching hands. Flex the foot. Here we go. You're doing great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Almost there. You got this. Eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Release the weights off to the side. We're going into the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten second plank holds. Nice deep breath here. And exhale. Calm the heart rate down for a second because your core is about to work. If you need to, you want to be in this plank position for that modification. Never on the kneecaps. Go onto the tops of the thighs. Okay, zipper up those legs. Make sure you're pressing weight into your heel, distributing the weight between the hands and the legs. Here we go, up for five. Five, four, three, two, one, and drop. Breathe right there, we're moving on to six, and up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down, breathe. Moving on to seven, here we go. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
drop down, breathe. We're almost there. You've got this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down. Nice deep breath. We're moving on to nine. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Last one. You've got this for 10. Tight abs, as tight as you can go. Ready? Press into those heels. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop it down. Whew. One more round, and you are fully done with this workout. We're going to move into the single leg deadlifts with a row. Okay, let's get back up. Position the ball. If you need to have those weights, go ahead and place those around the ball. Grab the weight. We are stabilizing on the left leg, hinging forward, flat back, focal point in front of us. Here we go. Down, up, and balance. Again, if you need to keep that toe tapped, that's what that looks like. Tap. Okay? Halfway there. Good. Breathing. Almost there. Last two. One more. And great job. Transfer it over to the other side. Plant the heel. You have one more side. Then we are done with this leg. All right, here we go. Down. And up. We have so much weight now pulling us forward. So working on those postural muscles in the back is such a win during pregnancy. Almost there. We have four. Almost there. You've got this three. I know your leg is on fire. Oops, I just fell out of it. Two. And one. I'm going to do one more for myself just because I tipped over. And good. Which is okay. We're going to tip over. We're going to be off balance. It happens. Okay, last round of bird dogs. Put that weight right behind the knee. Weight is in the opposite hand. Flex the heel, raising it as high as you can while maintaining a flat back. Here we go. And two. Three. Four. Five. Halfway there, you got this. Seven, breathe. Eight, nine, ten. Rotate that weight to the other side. You guys are just flying through this workout. Congratulations for all you've done so far. We're almost there. Okay, flex that left foot. Make sure the weight's comfortable behind the knee. Last ten reps. Flat back. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost there, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Let's move those weights out of the way. Almost there. We have just that plank sequence left, and then we're stretching. Take a deep breath, calm the heart rate down for a second. Okay, here we go. Hands directly underneath the shoulders. Legs are zipped up together. I'm putting equal parts weight into my fingertips, pads of my hands, pushing weight through my legs, squeezing my legs tight together as I support my belly. 
if you feel like your belly is coning at all, meaning it's driving forward at a point, back off into that modified position. We don't want that because that starts to pull on those abs and make them separate. Okay, here we go. Pushing back, five seconds, five, four, three, two, squeeze those legs and down. Breathe for a second, moving on to six. Here we go, and six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down, deep breath, seven, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down, eight is next. Nice deep breath, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last two, you can do this. Deep breath, moving on to nine. Here we go, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, last one, here we go. Deep breath, here for 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Go ahead and take a nice sit. Oh, you did it. Your intermediate total body workout is complete. Let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath and exhale out. Give me one more of those. And out. Good. Take that arm across. You should feel a nice stretch in the shoulder. You definitely worked them. They were holding weights. They were holding you. They were pressing weight. You worked them pretty hard. And let's switch. I am so proud of you. You are doing such an amazing job as a mom. You're doing such an amazing job as a woman. You should just give yourself total kudos for being here. Let's take that arm up and stretch out the tricep. Slow the heart rate down and switch. You just want to be breathing right now, celebrating the fact that you just completed a really good workout for your body. Good, I'm going to turn to the side so I can show you. Go ahead and take that left leg out, right ankle across the left knee, and bend the knee, bringing that stretch through the back of the leg. Fingertips are facing my body, and I'm just pushing up getting a nice stretch through the booty and back of the leg. If you're experiencing sciatica during your pregnancy, this is a great stretch for that area. Um, you'll feel a lot through that hip as well. Flex the top foot, give it a little bit more intensity. Good job, and then release it down. So left ankle across the right knee, bring that right foot in, Flex the left foot and push up. Oh, my glutes are extremely tight. They always have been, and even in pregnancy, uh, I'm experiencing that tightness as well. So making sure to stay flexible and stretching after these workouts is very important. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna have you go to hands and knees. We're gonna do a modified runner stretch. So take that right leg forward, left knee on the ground, hands are on the inside of the foot. And just feel that stretch through the hip and through the back of the leg. Good job. And then keeping the toes on the ground, chest, stomach on top, lay, lay that belly on the quad. And then let's raise those toes Grab them if you can. You should feel that stretch woo, all the way through the back of the leg. Awesome. Let's go ahead and switch. So take that left leg forward and drop the hips forward. Hands are on the inside of the foot. Oh, that feels great in the hips and in the back of the leg. And then stretch it down, keeping the toes facing down for the first little bit. 
laying your body directly on your tummy, feeling that through the back of the leg, and then slowly raise those toes. You'll feel it even more in the calf, through the back of the knee and into the back of the belly of the hamstring. Grab those toes if you can. And release it down. All right, you have completed this workout. Thank you again for joining me. I can't wait to see you on the mat next time. Bye.